channel. Oh, and we have a very good cause. And my mom will tell you why. So guys, we uh, our goal is that we use this channel for charity. Charity for kids. So if we gain success through this channel, we would like to use our resources towards charity. So please show your fantastic support and subscribe. It's really only free to subscribe. Thank you. Peekaboo! Hello everyone, it's great to see you all. Today we've got another video in store for you. What is it, Fisha? What are we going to see today? We're going to learn about black-tailed prairie dogs. Okay. Can you show us a bit more about it? Yeah, so here we've got um, a wonderful house. And this one is looking out for predators. Predators are someone who take animals, kill them, sometimes for no reason and sometimes for eating. Okay. So this one is standing guard and here's one more inside doing some shopping. Okay. And these are the beds. That's the nursery and that's the chamber. Mm. So can you tell me a bit about this one then? Yeah. So as you can see it has light brown furry skin, okay. large black eyes mm -hmm. and sharp claws and a black tip because here it's brown but here at the, it's at the very tip you can see black. Mm. So why does it need sharp claws? What do you think? Well, um, you know how some plants are tightly we thick and uh, connect together. The sharp claws are for them to make holes and pluck them out. Okay. Now there are lots of reasons one for them to eat. One they just simply pluck and do you know why? So that predators cannot hide and just pounce out. That's very intelligent that they pluck the leaves and uh, small plants out so that predators cannot hide behind it. Yeah, because they, they will all obviously get scared. So this one is standing guard for any predators. Mm. Why else do you think they would need such sharp claws? Well, first of all, it, when the predator comes, it doesn't need a poke and hurt it, doesn't it? And what about digging burrows? Do they use the claws to dig burrows? Yeah, so they use it to hurt predators, take out the plants and dig their home. So here this one has just finished digging a nice town for that one to live in. And now it's standing guard quickly to have a look if there's any predator to pounce into. Okay. So what we can see is these are found in America. North America to be precise. Patricia, this doesn't look like a dog to me. I've never seen a dog standing like this. Then why is it called a dog? Because they make the high pitch step. Oh. Kind of like that. Oh, so because it makes a bark, a high pitched one like a dog, that is why. Okay. Yeah. So if they are not dogs, then which family are they actually belonging to? Um, they belong to rodents, I believe. Yeah. So what's a herbivore? A herbivore is someone who um, well, doesn't eat any animals and they're not a non-vegetarian. Oh. And that's what a carnivore is and a herbivore is someone who just eats plants like animals. Like me and you. Yeah. We are herbivores. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which other animal is herbivore? Well, the I'm one with the long trunk. Which it's animal? An Then which is a carnivore? Mm, well, a dinosaur which was uh, um, um, long, long back and there are many carnivores. One's a tiger, <coughs> one's a lion, one's a wolf, <coughs> men, men, and even a snake. <coughs> so, I'm scared. Will you stay and protect me? You are a grown <laughs> Okay, so tell me a bit about this house of theirs. Looks like a colony. Tell me a bit okay. about this. So can you see all this is the house? Okay. And here I've done a little, little prairie dog. Baby one. Yeah, it's a baby. 
What are the babies called? Any idea? A pup. Pup. Okay. So, this one here that my mom has drawn, that is the one looking out guard for any predators. What's this stuff over here? This is the bag. Okay, so that's the bed made of dry grass. Yeah, so um, and what that one has done as it, it's plucked all of that and well, gone back and it's made a, a, a soft bed underneath. Okay. So you're telling me that this is a bedroom? Yep, it's a bedroom. So do they have separate rooms for everything? How posh is yeah. that? And this is... um. The chamber where they put all their clothes <laughs> <laughs> and, and their shoes, which are high heels, which are slippers. I don't trust you. I don't think they wear shoes and high heels, Prisha. But I'm sure this room is for something else. It could be a nursery. No, this is the nursery. Nursery. Okay. So as you can see here, um, um, there's a ball. Okay. And a little. <laughs> How, how interesting and posh is that that they actually have rooms separate rooms for bed that's the sleeping like the bedroom there's a separate room for nursery there's a separate room for dining so how organized they are isn't it yeah and there's one more thing what is it did you know that prairie dogs um, um, live in North America mm, I know that so what is North America Is it a continent? Yeah, it's one of the. Best Can you tell me other continents as well? Okay, so um, what is North America? It's one of the best continents. Well, not really. Each and every continent has got its own speciality, and we've seen that in the video the other day, isn't it? Yeah. So um, these are the seven continents. So let's sing that song which we learned today. Yeah. Well, uh, from size big. We'll be going from bigger to smaller continent, yeah, basically. Yeah, well, I'll tell them. Okay, so it's like this. Asia, Africa, North and South America. Antarctica. Antarctica. Antarctica and Europe. And, Europe, and, and last is Australia. Yeah. Asia, Africa, North and South America. Antarctica uh, and Europe. And finally, it's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back on Prairie Dogs. So, we've... Tell me, what is a cottery? So, a cottery is... Well, is it like a family? Yep, it's like a family. So, if I would say that there were many prairie dogs here, so this is called Relax as the Prairie Dogs. And this is one full family. Oh. And here there are some prairie dogs. And this is a full family. And here there are prairie dogs and that's a full family. Okay. Then I know one fact that in a township there could be around a thousand of them living together in a township and these have got really good social skills that is they hug and they kiss and they know who are their cousins they know who are their real brother and sister they look out against predators and they are very so, uh, social animals that way so that's I'm, I'm intrigued actually by the way they are organized by the way they communicate it's so interesting to know so I can read something about the mound. So there is the mound at the entrance. Why do you think would it have a mound at the well, entrance? Well, um, uh, to be precise, it's kind of, it kind of looks like this. Yes. Okay. So let's just pretend that there is lots of rain falling everywhere. Okay. Lots and lots of rain. Mm-hmm. Like that. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then, Our bed would be wet, and the kitchen would be bare. Wet. So this is acting as the roof. The mountains are acting as the roof to prevent. So are you telling me that all the water trickles and goes down, but yeah. doesn't actually go in? Yeah, to prevent that. That 
since it doesn't go inside and, and goes to the opposite. So how intelligent it is and nature has given such nice brain and ways to them that despite not being very well equipped, they still can do much more than what we would imagine an animal to do, isn't it? Yes. Mm. So, um, um, so I think we've done most of what we were going to do, isn't it? Is there anything else that you have to tell me? No. Okay. Bye guys. Have a good day.